you know, tribal, in, 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 internal tribal warfare, you know, amongst them, you know. Some of them would bury their daughters alive. They had no respect for women. Women had no rights. They were like the property of the men, you know, okay. So we know about the, uh, how they was, okay. And uh, so when Umar made that statement, then Islam came and gave us honor. And he said what he said, and when we reflect upon it, that's what everybody, this can be applied to everybody. Before, you know, people, sometimes people like to boast and brag about their ancestry and where they was and what, they, what, 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 what the Indians did and what the Africans did and what the Europeans, what the Vikings did, what the Greeks did, what the Romans did, right? What everybody did, all that jahali, all that was ignorance, all that was proof. And we can read the history of civilization and see what everybody was into, every people, every culture, every ethnic group they were into was well, Islam. Disgraceful. There was something that you may say, okay, this was good, but most of what they were into in terms of people's behavior and conduct, their morals and their ethics, their way of life. Disgraceful. So no one can really brag and no one can really boast in that regard. But likewise, you know, getting the Arab the same way. So when Umar made that statement, it was very powerful. For the Lord of Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad sallam, and he said, Islam, with Islam came to honor, came to you know, honor. You see? And when we look around today and we see, we look at the Muslim Ummah, it's supposed to be an honorable Ummah, we seek honor somewhere else. We seek honor in other things. We think honor will come by doing what other people want. We think honor comes with pleasing people. You see? Doing what people like. We think honor is going, you know, is being all right with people. You see? Or being accepted by people. Or being approved by people. So we tend to do things, you know, that's not from Islam. You know, we leave the sunnah of the Prophet of Islam. We do things to please them. And thus we end up dishonoring ourselves. So, the very profound statement of Islam. Islam is honor. So I'm alive with Allah, the messenger, and the believers. Allah is in following the Quran and the Sunnah. The Prophet Sallallahu he said, I leave you two things. If you follow these, you'll never go astray. The book of Allah and the Sunnah, the message of Allah. That's where your honor is. Honor is in following that. Honor is in practicing that. Honor is in having confidence and conviction about your deed. Real Iman. Now, you know, mouth Iman, but real Iman, where the heart has a firm conviction and a confidence you can see in the demeanor, in the aura, you see, or one's posture, wherever he is, he's proud. Not an arrogant, he's proud to be Muslim. He's not ashamed to be Muslim and what a Muslim stands for. See, that's a, that's the real Iman. Wherever he goes, people's power, people in awe. His presence and stuff, or her presence and stuff. Because he goes a person that's no nonsense. He goes a person that reflects, again, the values, the principles, and the beliefs of Islam. Honor is in your taqwa. Inna akramakum in the lahi akkaakum. And the most honorable of you in the sight of Allah is your taqwa. See? Honor is in you believing, or you having the belief, or you believe in yourself. To the point that no other nation, no other people is superior to you. When you feel that, without being arrogant, when you feel that, it's in your very being. As an individual, as a, as a, as a nation of people, Allah has honored us. Allah honored us. You are the best people because you enjoy good and forbid wrong. And you're upon Tawhi. You're upon singling out Allah alone in worship. Out of all of the people on the earth, everybody's into some form of shirk when it comes to Allah. Like Allah said, no just estimate have they made of Allah. <laughs> High and exalted is Allah what they say about Him. See, you have honor in that you believe what Allah says about himself and that's it. See, Allah defines who he is, through his attribute, through his, you know, through his name. He defines in the process of coming and explains it a little more, to, you know, you know explains it a little, a little more. 
what Allah has said about himself, what the Prophet said about Allah. This is knowledge of Allah on Dalla. So we don't have to borrow from other people to think, trying to figure out what Allah is like, what his nature is. You know, thinking up stuff, thinking up stuff, coming up with ideas and opinions that's just not from Islam, not from the Deen, not from the Quran, not from the Sunnah. Everything is defined for us. This is where our honor is, man. So we really, we really got it on, got it going on. You see, honor, honor, is a, is not being embarrassed. Is not being embarrassed, embarrassed, or, or not to be defensive or apologetic about any of Islam. Hmm? Not to be embarrassed, not to feel ashamed, not to feel defensive about anything that Allah Ta'ala has revealed about his religion in the Quran and the Sunnah. Honor is to, uh, to be proud of the Sharia. We live in a time, brothers and sisters, where people, the non-Muslims, are attacking the Sharia. Huh? Huh? They're saying, you know, you know, the Sharia is, 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 is barbaric. The Sharia, you know, is backwards. Uh, you know, you, you Muslims want to take us back to the seventh century. It's what they say all the time. And so some Muslims feel like, wow. <laughs> you see? They, they become afraid. You see? They become ashamed. You know? When they start attacking the laws of the Hudud, the Hudud, which speaks about cutting the hand of the thief, right? You know, stalling the adulterer. You see, so Muslims get, you know, they get embarrassed. They don't have to deal with it. SubhanAllah, Sharia, SubhanAllah. And in Islamic society, yes, we uphold that. Yes, that's what we want. Yes, we want the Sharia in, this, in the lands of the Muslims. Absolutely. We want to see the Sharia of Allah established in the lands of the Muslims. Yes, yes. So I wear life. Our honor is in that. And our dishonor and humiliation and disgrace is in not having that. And that's what you see in the Muslim world now. Humiliation and disgrace. Almost every country. And it's hip and let me just make this comment too. And it's like to me it's like hypocrisy. When, when people say, you know, we don't we don't want to see Muslims establish the Sharia in the land of the Muslims, right? Yet our government, the government here in America, has a good relationship with Saudi Arabia. You know, whether you like it or not, they have a good relationship. They're in the bed. They're in the bed. What about it? You're my man, you're all right. Yeah, it's not me five and all. I'm telling you, you know that. Some people don't like them, they think that it's not, you know, because they, you know, they, 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 they're too friendly in the sense that they end up doing things that they shouldn't do against the Ummah. But look, well, let's just leave that. Saudi Arabia is an ally of America. Good friend. Good friend. Bottom line. Yes, Saudi Arabia is an Islamic state. In the sense that it implements the Hadoo. <laughs> America don't tell the world that Saudi Arabia is the boogeyman. Sometimes they say the extremes, <laughs> you know, the Wahhabi and all that. But the Saudi Arabian government proclaimed to be followers of Imam Wahhab, Wahhab, Abdul Wahhab. He's the founder of the founding fathers. See, that's like George Washington, the Saudi Arabia. He's the founding father. They don't denounce him because of extremists, they don't denounce him or feel ashamed of him. You see what I'm saying? Because of, you know, the kind of attitude, the kind of posture that America takes. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, Saudi Arabia is an Islamic, or claim to be an Islamic state that implements the Hadoo. They cut people's heads off. <laughs> they cut people's hands off. <laughs> they, and in their constitution, they lay out crown and summer. They made a crown and summer. Our holiday is Eve. That's it. They don't have all. I'm telling you, you, you review their copy, it's clear. So, what's the problem? If any other Muslim country wishes to establish themselves similarly and have a free relationship with America, so everybody has a very free relationship with America. There's no threat to America, never have been. I'm going to get a little political. Come on, think about it. Never have been. You see? So, think about it. Think about it. But yet, all the other Muslim countries, we don't want no Sharia. We don't want no Sharia. Look what they say. Well, it's honorable to have the Sharia. But it's Allah's law. It's Allah's legislation. And so we as Muslims, Alhamdulillah, we support this and we uphold this. See? See? And so Alhamdulillah, in closing, honor is not in trouble.